just an update. Turns out that uh, as I was going here restoring this crashed ship, I didn't have to repair everything. I just had to get the launch thrusters and the pulse engine to work. So I repaired these two things, backed out, and it gave me the milestone uh, here in phase three to uh, restore a crash ship. Still planning on repairing and fixing that ship. I have crunched the numbers and have everything that I need uh, documented. And then we'll just check off and repair it as we continue the series. And we're back with the uh, ship repair quest. Doesn't necessarily need to be recorded, but because I'm doing things, I'm recording it. We're just gonna go to a specific planet around here somewhere. It actually might be this one. Yeah, or some deoxite. And I think we'll do some ancient bones over here too. And get some copper. Because we need more chromatic metals. I hope we might be able to get some whispering eggs. Yep, I see some on the ground. So it's time to pick them up. Level four. just come out in droves. I don't think there's really any stopping them or like they just don't come out anymore. I think they always will come out. One behind me. I think there would be an end. I remember the first time seeing these guys, how terrified I was. Yeah, now that I've got this scatter gun, not so much. I guess that's something I could do, is just like irritate the swarm. Go up here. Wait for the swarm to die down. Because they're all like close range. And I don't really get anything from killing them. I don't think they drop anything. Oh, they do shoot stuff at you. Did not know that. Can I be greedy? get me because they're stuck on the other side of the building. Or they're just gonna walk all the way around. Yeah, like this one here. Oh, there's 
one near me. There we go, still 16 whispering eggs. That's how we stole the whispering eggs. Now we get the hazmat gauntlet lands, the prepackaged paralysis mortar unit. That cost that. The nutrient processor. Prepackaged paralysis mortar unit. What is that? Rebuilt wiring package designed to allow easily installation of core technology. Text to begin the installation. Nonviolent projectile weapon launch projectiles will impact nearby targets with a burst of electricity energy, affecting against both biological and electronic entities. Charged with unstable plasma, which we've been selling. So I think maybe I'll just hold off on using it. Anyways, we got another rendezvous point we need to go to. Swarm has subsided. I have stolen enough from it. Crazy looking planet. Let's get out and take a look around. Reimagined, just documented 21 new plants. Phase 3, already getting things done. Supreme scanning system upgrade and a healthy wheat block. As life is reimagined. Here we go. Space station. Going to the second rendezvous. Ah, uh, and of course my pulse engine runs out. I think we picked up a bunch of this. Feels like it's under. Or on the other side of this mount. Going right past it. Hmm. Maybe I just have to land near it. Actually, right here. Since we did this, 
300 quicksilver, starship inventory slot times three, and residue. I'm gonna wait to use that. I want to go to the other place. I reward starship wreckage base parts. I to use that to like get back into my freighter, and then we'll claim it. And I'll increase the storage space of that starship. Back to space. Approach the void to begin your dream. Let your mind drift to the stars as you slip through space time. Definitely something we will be doing. Summon my freighter. Like, if I'm for sure gonna switch over to that ship, then, uh, need to take all the parts off of that and take it with me. Now let's claim this. Cargo tech. There, so that's full. Okay. Now we don't have to get the rest in our actual storage. Perfect. Now we can get this Starship Wreckage base part. Zidual cube. Starship wreckage base parts. Here we go, phase two of our expedition and adrift is done. Phase three is what we start with next. Started. That's what I'm saying. Radiant shards, I'll have to go back to another one. Desolate planets, look for ancient bones, discover robotic life forms, and then reaching the third rendezvous on the way. I think I have enough room that I can just switch to using this as my primary starship now. It's almost fully repaired. Materials that we need to repair. The starship launch fuel can stay there. All right. I'm gonna do the thing that I said that I wasn't going to do. I'm gonna continue on doing this so that way I can do the drift part. out into the void of space, the stars fill my vision, and I try to remember, how long has it been now, since I woke? It feels like years, but it has been only days, weeks, perhaps it really has been years, I can no longer tell, I've seen so few signs of life, my exosuit speaks to me, my starship's just a course, see a glimpse of myself, reflections of some other reality, dutifully fulfilling all the tasks of survival that their equipment suggests. For a moment, I shut it all out. I let myself pause and dream. Dream. Drifted through the void, 
succeeded in what we were going to do. Alright. Their expedition tells us to do next is to go there. And that's where we're going to wait. Gonna bring a freighter over to me. Which I apparently can't. Oh, I never collected my reward. Pre-packaged flight assist overdrive unit and pre-packaged sublight amplified Gray Market Electronic Module disables Critical Safety and Pilot Assist Module, usually baked into the Starship's fly-by-wire control system. Despite its dubious legal status and its implication in any series of high-speed asteroid impacts, this module remains popular with smugglers, mercenaries, and others who think themselves as advanced pilots, specifically tuned to increase the ability of the Starship to drift during space flight. All right, a little bit more maneuverability on that one. And a sublight amplifier, whatever that is. Pulse drive power, a highly advanced upgrade for the pulse engine, vastly increasing interplanetary speed. Naturally occurring frame shift effects within the pulse engines are Amplified by titanium based resonators, increasing its maximum sublight speed. completed phase two of the Adrift Expedition. We have even gone through and completed some of phase three. We don't have very many to do in phase three. We already started doing this, harvesting three radiant shards. I want to go back and do that. Gonna extract ancient bones. We're going to discover robot life forms, robotic life forms, and then reach the third rendezvous in our next little adventure. And we'll even go through and fully repair the Wazawar Auditor 7, which still has quite a ways to go to get repaired. A lot of hyphnium, need some more activated copper, pyrite, phosphorus, Platinum, more platinum, chromatic metal. Not everything is really difficult to get. We just got to do a little side adventure. Maybe on the planets that we go to, we will happen to come across and find those things. But it's in a lot better condition. Well, it has a lot better stats than the previous ship did. And even though it's damaged, still has more storage space than the previous ship did. What a nice room for technology, too. Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of No Man's Sky Drift. Bye.